Good day everyone. Today I am lecture to that is going to tell about nouns. Do you know what is a noun? A noun is a word that identifies a person, animal, place, thing or an idea. Example, person like boy, girl, father, mother, all human beings. Animals like cat, tiger, dog, lion, all wild and domestic animals. Places like Titlagar, Bolangir, Puri, where we live. Things like dolls, teddy bear, toys, all non-living things. And idea. Do you know what is an idea? Plan, thought or suggestion. Especially about what to do in a particular situation. Whatever we see in our surrounding, which has a name, is a noun. Noun can be of many kinds. Common noun, proper noun, concrete noun, abstract noun, collective noun, compound nouns, countable noun, uncountable noun, etc. Today I will explain common noun, proper noun, concrete noun, abstract noun. Common noun. Common noun gives a general name to people, animal, place or thing. Example, like people, teacher, doctor, friend. Example, like animals, dog, cat, bird. Example, like places, park, school, beach. Example, like things, car, book, phone. Let's come to proper noun. Proper noun. Proper noun is the name of a particular person, animal, place or thing. In English, proper noun begins with capital letter. Example like people, sita, places, Australia, things, sun, animals, tiki. Let's come to concrete noun. Concrete noun. Concrete noun is a noun that can be identified through one of the five. Senses. Taste, touch, see, hear or smell. Example, like cup, cake, ball, chair, keys. However, in some cases, common noun and proper noun can be called as concrete noun. Let's come to abstract noun. Abstract noun. Abstract noun is a noun that cannot be identified using one of the five senses. Taste, touch, sight, hearing or smell. It refers to feelings, qualities, concepts and cannot be physically seen. Examples like love, bravery, friendship, health, wealth, anger, excitement, talent, childhood, knowledge, happiness. I think you all have understood. Thank you. Have a nice day.